In this unit we're going to take a look at visual styles in Revit. So what exactly are they? Well visual styles are a set of predefined looks or styles that you can apply to each model view depending on how you need it displayed. Now to access your visual styles the easiest way to do it is to use this button down on the view control bar. So remember at the base of each window you've got your view control bar with your view specific controls. The third one along after view scale, detail level is visual style. So it's this little box here. Now click on there. Now there is the choice of visual styles available to you. I'm going to take you through each of these shortly and show you what they each look like and the differences between them. Now I would point out at this point, if you are using Revit LT, you will have a subset of these. You won't have some of these options near the bottom. You'll have a, a more basic palette to choose from. If you're using the full version of Revit, your choice will be the same as you can see here. Okay, let's go through each of the visual styles in turn and show you what they look like. So let's start with wireframe and I'll use a 3D view as an example. So there is the wireframe visual style. Now you'll probably have your own thoughts on this. My personal opinion is it's probably close to useless. The reason I say that with the greatest respect is you can see it's very difficult to actually see what's going on because you've got just a series of lines. It is a wireframe of your model. Uh, bear in mind this is a relatively simple model I'm looking at here. So if you've got anything with any complexity to it, you're going to get totally lost as to what's going on. But uh, nevertheless, there is a wireframe style for you to, to use. Hidden line, much more useful. So no colouring, no shading, but at least it's hiding the faces that can't be seen so you can actually see what's going on in your model. Moving down to the next one, shaded. Probably, in my opinion, the most useful of the visual styles and one that you'll be using, I would suggest, 90-95% of the time. Moving down again, consistent colours basically removes the shading so all surfaces are shaded equally. That can be really quite useful for um, looking around your model and seeing what's going on because um, in some cases with the shaded one uh, you get sort of really dark shadows and it's difficult to see where the surfaces are so quite a useful visual style. Moving down to realistic. Now this is where it superimposes or shows you any of the actual material uh, textures if they're available. So you can see the walls here that I'm using, the wall type does have a material applied to it. So there is a graphic of the actual brick pattern. So now it's actually showing you that and applying some shading as well. So it's a much more realistic view of your model. And finally down at the bottom, ray trace. Now you'll notice when I hit ray trace, if you look at my cursor, it's now spinning as the computer takes a little time to work out what the image should look like. And you can see if I spin the model around to get the orbit out of the way. Now you probably hear as well in the background over the microphone, that's the graphics processor speeding up or the, the, the fan speeding up to try and cool the graphics processor because now my computer is working very hard trying to calculate all the light paths to produce a very realistic um, rendering almost, a dynamic rendering. So every time I pan or orbit it has to recalculate exactly how that should be displayed. Again I'm not a big fan of that visual style because as you can see as a as a working tool if you're working with your model every time you try to orbit round it it's having to recalculate so in reality, through my experience, hidden line and particularly shaded are the two visual styles you'll probably work with most on a day-to-day -day basis. View styles are view specific. So for example, you may want your default 3D view set on shaded, 
we could go to a camera view and let's have that on realistic. The visual styles work in your other model views as well, so plans, have a shaded plan there, setting out, might just want to be hidden line. So just a case of going through each of the views that you've set up and deciding what is the most appropriate visual style for it and setting it here on the view control bar. For those of you who use or have used Google SketchUp, you'll be well aware of the sketchy lines look, um, the, the sort of, uh, if you like, the visual style which recreates a hand-drawn look. In the full version of Revit, we do have a sketchy lines visual style. It's buried a little bit in terms of where you find it in the settings, but I'm going to show you that now. So I'm going to work with this 3D view. Go to our visual styles button there and you need to go up to graphic display options and click on that and down here you will see the option for sketchy lines so I'm just going to expand that I'm going to enable sketchy lines and here you can set the jitter how sort of jittery or shaky the lines are let's put that up somewhere there number seven and extension how far the lines extend past each other so again, let's just bump that up, hit apply, hit OK. Again, if I zoom in, you can see that this has been drawn in a sketchy line style, little like you'd get out of Google SketchUp. Again, this visual style is view specific, so you can apply it just to the views in which you want this particular look. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point, you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.